Recently, I got my blood work done and the results were so startling, I had to reach out for help to make sense of it. So it's interesting, your vitamin D was low on this test. I'm just curious, um, and it's, it's so interesting, we actually see that 40% of people have low vitamin D on their first test with Inside Tracker. So again, definitely not alone in that. Um, but I think it's interesting because it's such an important vitamin, it's actually a hormone, but um, it's, it's a really important one. It's like critical for so many different processes in the body, um, but it still ends up being low on so many of these tests. I'm talking to Michelle Darian, a registered dietitian over at Inside Tracker. This is a company I recently became aware of, and they have a very unique approach to personalized health. Essentially, they give you a personalized health analysis, and they do this by looking at your blood work, by looking at your habits, and also for U.S. citizens, looking at your DNA. And it'll tell you exactly where you stand on key biomarkers. And all of this information is nicely displayed in a graphical interface where you can look at the trends over time. That's a lot of data and it can be hard to kind of make sense of it all. So Inside Tracker utilizes AI to give you a real good snapshot of your health. And they have a proprietary algorithm that they call Inner Age 2.0. Essentially, we all know we have a chronological age, you know, how old we are. But with Inner Age 2.0, what they try to assess is what your biological age is based upon age-related biomarkers. So for example, maybe there's a certain biomarker that is adding years to your life. Inside Tracker will tell you what that is and exactly what you can do to lower it. So over time, you're going to have a game plan for your life to try to keep your biological age lower than your chronological age. And here's a list of the biomarkers that are fed into that inner age algorithm to determine what your biological age is. It's a total of 17 biomarkers for men and 13 for women. I find this to be really intriguing because during the pandemic, I got into the best shape of my life. I lost a lot of weight. I exercise every day. I started to learn to jump rope from scratch when the gyms closed down and two to three years later, I became a jump rope ninja. So if there was ever a time for me to try Inside Tracker, it would be now. And this inner age would kind of give me that clean bill of health to tell me that my biological age is now younger than my chronological age. So I selected the ultimate Inside Tracker plan and scheduled some blood work. Inside Tracker actually provides mobile blood work. So a phlegmologist came to my house in the morning and drew blood from me from the comfort of my own home. After that, the blood work was then sent to the lab for analysis. And after a couple of weeks, I got the results. 38 biomarkers were optimized, four needed improvement, and seven were at risk. Now the big question is, how did that affect my inner age? And I have to say, I was absolutely shocked when I got the results. My inner age is 3.1 years older than my chronological age. And what surprises me is that I exercise every day and eat a very clean diet, but it all comes down to glucose. My blood glucose levels are really, really high. In fact, Inside Tracker said that I was part of the 13% of people who have borderline high glucose. I don't eat any refined sugar. I eat a very clean diet. I eat a lot of natural foods, no processed foods. So what is happening? So I reached out to Michelle Darian over at Inside Tracker and I told her about how every time I got blood work done in the past, my blood sugar had always been flagged. So I feel that there must be a genetic component to it. But that wasn't the only biomarker that came up high that really surprised me. The iron was another one that really struck out. How is it so high? I thought iron was good and I do eat a lot of spinach, but now I'm like really evaluating what I'm eating to, to get that number down. Yeah, so that level is quite high. So I, so it looks like, so when it comes to the iron group, the biomarker that can be, is um, the one that contributes the most weight to the iron group is ferritin. Yes. So ferritin is that separate form of iron. Um, and then that one did come back on the higher side. And then TS and iron are also um, more biomarkers of more recency. So it's, so if you've had a lot of iron in like the last week or so, then that one can be elevated as well. So it looks like the three of those were elevated. Um, I would say, so you said that you have spinach, you do some, some red meat, but it sounds like not a lot. Not a lot. No, it's um, usually how, chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then how about seafood? No, this is one thing. Cause I, I'm really into like meal prep. So I know seafood's kind of a hard one to, to prep. And so I don't really cook with much. So when I do go out to eat, I do try to eat fish, but it doesn't always happen. Okay. And then does it, and it's not sneaking into any supplements? or anything like that no i'm not taking any other okay. kind of other than creatine and whey protein and now vitamin d 
Um, those are the three, yeah. three that I'm taking currently. I wonder if this one is genetic too then, because when I'm thinking about all of your different habits, it's like, it wouldn't really lead me to believe that, that it's yeah. dietary or lifestyle focused. Yeah, so I wonder high. if this one is also genetic. It's very, yeah. very high. And um, I, I, like, what, what, what can I do? Like, what can I do to, to bring that yeah. number down? Yeah, so it's 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 really interesting. It's not definitely no, definitely not saying that this is a long term solu solution or anything. But donating blood can actually help to bring down some of those levels. Um, yeah, so that's that could be one. It could be one tactic. Um, I would also say the DNA test could be helpful here too, yeah. um, to kind of see if it if it's if there's a genetic component to it too. Um, and then I would also just be curious if um, if you wanted to share these results with your physician if they had any ideas here. So once you get your results, Inside Tracker then gives you a personalized plan to help optimize those biomarkers that have been flagged. And in my case, it is related to blood sugar. And what's very interesting is they, they plan it on every single front, what you should eat, your lifestyle, what kind of supplements you should take, and also on exercise. But when I was going through these plans, I noticed that a lot of them I already do. And that's what really gets me thinking that there's a genetic component to a lot of these biomarkers. And if that's the case, I'm probably gonna need some kind of supplementation. And if I go the supplementation route, I wanna verify that it is in fact some kind of a genetic component to a lot of these biomarkers. So I think this story, folks, is not over. I'm gonna have to do inside tracker once again i will get my blood work done but i'm next time i'm also going to include the dna test and between those and my lifestyle i should understand what i need to do to get my inner age down so if you're the kind of person that's into health wellness and longevity i highly recommend you check out inside tracker but let me warn you the results may surprise you and it certainly did in my case but this story is not over and i want to see how much of that genetic component is affecting my biomarkers. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy. Stay tuned for part two of my journey with Inside Tracker. <laughs>